Ducks are special just because they're a charismatic species. They connect people to nature, they connect people to wetlands especially, which are incredibly important habitats. And they're also just a conservation success story. Ducks are a group of species that we as biologists have studied for many, many decades, and we've done a really great job at conserving them and making sure that their populations are doing well. For the last seven years up in North Park, we have been studying waterfowl, um, trying to get a handle on how many ducks are nesting up there and what kind of habitats they're nesting in. Originally, when we started this project, we thought, yeah, there's probably a lot of ducks, but we don't really know where they're nesting, what kind of habitats they need, and how many there are. And if they're getting harvested, where are they getting harvested? We start the season doing duck counts, uh, where we just visit all the wetlands up there and count how many ducks are using each of them. And that gives us an idea of overall how many ducks are using the area and then also what type of wetlands those ducks are uh, preferring. And then towards the end of the season, we get into banding, where we catch ducks and put bands on their legs and let them go. And then we see where they get harvested, and that gives us an idea of where they go once they leave North Park, and then also how well they're surviving. Once we start banding, we're going out and putting out traps into wetlands, baiting those traps with corn, and trying to see how many ducks we can catch. And once we catch the ducks, we put um, individually numbered, uniquely numbered bands on their legs. Usually in a day of trapping, we get anywhere from two to several hundred ducks in traps. It can really vary depending on weather and, and how many birds are moving through. But over the course of the project, we trapped over 6,000 birds of 13 different species. Our focus is really mallards and gadwall for this project. The bands that we use to, to mark birds are typically aluminum. They've got unique numbers on them so that when a hunter recovers a bird or somebody traps that bird in another operation, they can report that number back to the bird banding laboratory and we can tell where that bird was captured or, or harvested. Typically the birds that we release when we're banding will continue on their southward migration. Uh, they'll go down into Mexico. Some of them go east along the South Platte. They've been recovered all over the country and into Canada as well, and it's really incredible to see how far they've gone. North Park is a special area because it's one of the few places that still uses flood irrigation. You know, Colorado is a pretty dry state and it's really great for ducks to have water on the landscape and that's exactly what that flood irrigation does. By using that irrigation technique in North Park, the ranchers and um, the ag community is really putting a lot of water and creating areas where ducks can go. And I think that's why North Park has so many ducks in it. Arapahoe National Wildlife Refuge was a really important uh, study area for this work because it's a large area. It's a, a huge National Wildlife Refuge in North Park, um, so it has a lot of habitat and it's an area that's been set aside specifically for wildlife. So they have the ability to manage habitat, manage the wetlands and water um, specifically to promote duck use and uh, duck nesting and things like that. So uh, it was important for us to work on the National Wildlife Refuge just because they hold so many ducks and they have the ability to change things and use our research to make more ducks. So personally, this project has been very rewarding for me because I'm a duck hunter. Um, and just generally a duck enthusiast. And it's very rewarding for me to work on a project that may lead to uh, better habitat for ducks, which ultimately may produce more ducks. Hunters have been especially important for those conservation efforts for ducks. 
All of the money that comes from hunting and fishing licenses goes to conservation, and duck hunters are also required to get duck stamps, and you know, all that money is also going to conservation. The fact that there's just this really passionate base of people who care about having ducks on the landscape is the, one of the main reasons we have so many, and they've been doing so well. So I actually started hunting during my master's when I started studying ducks, um, just to really get a feel for the, the hunting community and experience it for myself. And as a hunter, this project has been even more rewarding, um, getting to see you know how we really manage habitat to create birds on the landscape, and then where those birds go, knowing that the birds I end up harvesting that year could have come from North Park and um, been, you know, had the habitat to breed here in Colorado. It's just been a really rewarding process to, to be able to follow that entire cycle. Ducks really are the face of a wetland ecosystem. Um, and wetlands are really important for a variety of reasons, water quality, flood mitigation, and a whole host of other reasons. So ducks are really this important group because when people care about ducks, they also are caring about wetlands and all the species that wetlands support. So this study is a really good example of how Colorado Parks and Wildlife is using science-based management. Um, so the results of this study are going to be directly incorporated into uh, habitat restoration in North Park so that we can spend money on habitat restoration to ensure that ducks and other wildlife are around for future generations and that we're managing wetlands and other habitats um, as best as we can. Thank you.